Hello all, welcome to my channel Learning Oasis. In this video, we are going to see how to create a dynamic drop down list. By dynamic drop down list, I mean when you add a new entry to the list, it should automatically show up in the drop down. So, let's see how to do it. Before that, we will see how to create a normal drop down list in Excel and see what is the limitations of it. So, let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe it. So this is where I want the drop down list. So I'm going to the data tab and then click on data validation. And here I will select list and in the source, I will select the values that needs to be displayed. So we are done here. So if I click on this drop down, what I will see is the list of options that are here. We have five different options and all those five are displayed. So what if I had a I add another option, a sixth option. So now I have added a sixth option, but if you go to the drop down list, that will not be available. So if you want to add it again, what you need to do is again, you will have to go to data validation and then edit the range there. So here you need to select the new range. And then if you see now, you will have all six options available. But what if you keep adding new options every day? Then every time you cannot go ahead and edit the source file, I mean source data, right? So instead of that, there is an alternate option. That is what we are going to see. So let's see how to accomplish that. So this is the initial set of lists. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to give a name for that. Let's name it as items. So once you do that, again, select the data and confirm the name has been changed here. So if you see in the left hand side, you will have an option called the name box. This is where you need to give the name, right? So we have given the name now. Next thing, I need to select the same range and then convert it into a table. The shortcut for creating a table is control plus T. So hit OK. This will get converted into a table. OK, so now we'll have to add the data validation. So click on data validation and here again select list. Now instead of selecting the range, we are going to give the name now. So the name we selected was items, right? So enter the name and then hit OK. So now if you see these five options, whatever we had, basketball, volleyball, cricket, bat, stumps and gloves, all these five options are available. Now I'm going to add another extra one. Let's say helmet. Now, if you go to the drop down list, the additional option will, will also be available because instead of selecting the source, we gave a name to that list and then we converted into a table. So any new entry that you add there, it will be part of the table. Thereby, whenever you add a new entry, it will automatically flow to the drop down list that is available. So let's try to add another name and then just cross check it. Again, this is included as the part of the table. Now, if you see the new addition has been added here. So this is how you can accomplish creating a dynamic drop down list wherein you need not change the source every time you add a new entry. So I hope this video was helpful. So in the next video, we will see how to create a dependent drop down list. Thank you all.